mass restriction, right? And that's the sales I used to do. Back in the day, I used to do that sort of selling. Fucking hard, man. I was a broker in the city. It's a minimum 10 grand fucking thing I had to sell to someone that had no idea who I was. It's all about happiness, baby. What makes you happy? What makes you tick? YouTube, yes, how's it going? Welcome to episode five of Day to Day. Hope you guys have been enjoying these videos so far. Since the party, we're back in the office now. Well, sort of, we're, you know, uh, there's, a, there's a couple of us in, a couple of us aren't in. I was trying to stagger it, obviously, because of COVID-19, but for the most part, we're home now, and it's, uh, it's really, really awesome to be in this office, man, to be just working in this great space that I've created, and, um, I, I'm just really excited to see what, what my business can do and what my business can be and grow into now moving forward. So I'm really excited that you guys are sharing this journey with me through this vlog series. You know, hopefully you're gonna see me build something amazing. Who knows, I might fail. There might be some of you watching it wanting me to fail, I don't know. I've got a, a little bit of training today, which would be cool. I've got a training with a potential new sales guy uh, and some of that content that I share with him will be really, really interesting. I'm sure you'll get a lot of nuggets out of that because basically he's never sold before. I prefer to hire salespeople that haven't sold before uh, because they're just sponges then, right? They just, uh, they only know what I teach them as opposed to all of the bad habits they might have picked up somewhere else. And so I've got a meeting here with a, a potential script writer who's gonna help us with some sales training. I've got a call um, with a guy called Kirk Miller. He was a men's health uh, cover model. He was one of my clients, one of my earliest clients when we started Einstein a couple of years ago. I want to uh, trim up a little bit. So I'm having a consultation call with him today so he can talk me through what he can do for me and plan. You know, it's always great to have a coach and people like that that know what they're doing. So um, I've got a call with him so he could just map out exactly what I've got to eat when I've got to train, all that sort of stuff, you know? So that should be quite cool. Then I'm gonna knock it on the head pretty early today and I'll probably be leaving about two, three o'clock. It's Friday today. Last Friday was 37 here uh, in Upna. Today's gonna to be 35, so I'm gonna finish early. I'm gonna to go to the pub, I'm gonna have a bevy, then I'm gonna go home, have another bevy, and then I'm off to Scotland tomorrow. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, comment, like, subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Any questions you've got for me, leave them in the comments box. Hope you enjoyed day to day. So at this point here, what most people do, because this is the right thing to do first of all, right? They, you capture their information, you give them away something for free first and give them their information. Calling them now, once they've downloaded something for free, that's a lot better than what most companies do now. Most companies now, they don't even do this piece, they cold call. And cold calling, for instance, is where they would might buy a list off someone. They buy a list from an external company for whatever reason, oh yeah, these people might be interested in what you have to offer. The company calls them up and they go like this, hi, yeah, it's, it's Matt from Einstein Marketer and the, and the person on the phone says what every salesperson hates to hear, which is, who? You know, it's like, what do you want? Who are you? Mass restriction, right? And that's the sales I used to do. Back in the day, I used to do that sort of selling. Fucking hard, man. I was a broker in the city, it's a minimum 10 grand fucking thing I had to sell to someone that had no idea who I was. That's when you've got to call 200 people just to get someone to talk to you. The evolution of that was capturing a lead here, and then, because then they've given, for instance, Einstein Market their information, and then you call them up, hi, it's Matt from Einstein Market, I'm just calling you up to see if you've got your free thing. Oh yeah, hi. That's a much better response. Now, we've evolved it even further because I don't want my salespeople, potentially you, when you start, to call that person because still the conversion on these is going to be very very low so you, you capture their information here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to send them either up different communications or straight to it to try to get them to a page relating to this the product where they can then so i'm going to try and uh, draw a phone here <laughs> where they then actually book a call I want them to actually uh, say, call me. Where they go to a page now and they're like, yeah, that sounds sick. I want someone to call me and tell me more about that. 
here's my information, they go to a calendar where they say, this is when I want you to call me, and it'll be your calendar that's got your availability on it. Now you're calling them because they've requested you to call. Total game changer. This like, that's, that's like every salesperson's wet dream, basically, is to have someone wanna call them about something that they might wanna buy. What I try and do is give them the worst case scenario because a lot of people ain't cut out for it because it's so, you've got to just handle rejection and not take it personally. At the end of the day, every single no is one step closer to a yes. That's how you, your mindset has to be that. The facts are you have to have 10 no's to find the one yes. I remember the first thing that, that's really scary is just the first call. I remember making my first call and I was drenched in sweat. Looking back now, it's so illogical because I'm like, I speak to people on the phone all the time. Like I speak to hundreds of people. What's the difference? Why was I sweating? It's because for whatever illogical reasons, all emotion was going through your head that, oh yeah, this is gonna be fucking scary, blah, 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 blah. But it's just a call. You're just speaking to someone. The beauty of this is that you're speaking to someone that wants to speak to you. The first calls are gonna be terrible. They're gonna be bad, but that's the only way you can get better. Just gonna have to hit and hope this one. No! Oh, lost on my home table, not good. Oh, actually, there's one more thing we've just added. We've just added to the offering to make it sick because we, we kept getting a little hiccup on the handover of the funnels. We had, a lot of, we had a lot of people at handover that were a little bit like, oh, it feels like you've done it for me and then just left me. Right. So, so I was like, okay, fucking hell. You know, what could we do here without charging more money? I'll tell you what we can do. What I'll do is I'll give it to Vish and Vish will have an hour consultation with them where he hands over the funnel, walks them through it, but then this is sick. He'll actually go into their ad account, set up the campaign, their first campaign, set it up for them, put the ad copy in the images, get the audiences ready, literally ready to go. And all they have to do then is press the on button on Facebook. So we actually added that in. That's just recently, this, uh, the end of the month, we added that and that closed two sales because of that. So there's no uh, at the start of lockdown, I put on about six pounds uh, because I was just, you know, it's like subconsciously, I was just like, I, I was making excuses. I was like, oh yeah, because of lockdown. And I was like, no, nah, fuck this. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not being one of those people. So I actually, I started running and doing a lot of running. I, I'm now, I've lost, since lockdown now, I've lost 20 pounds. I've just lost over, just over a, a stone. It's optimizing like your efficiency of workouts and just like making sure everything is fucking sustainable. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because It'll benefit, like, the body's going to naturally take care of itself. When you're training the way I'm training, and I'm, I'm helping you with your food management, your body's going to take care of itself. But it's, it's energy, where you can outwork your competitors. I do, like the, I do like the fact that I'm the fittest dad on the playground, like, in terms of, like, like my, 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 my girls always say, it, like, my dad's stronger than yours, he's got massive muscles, you know, and all that. So I do like that, that would be good as well. Yeah, so it's all of that. You know, there's a lot of eyes on me now as we're growing, and now I'm, I'm, I'm definitely on video a lot more. Did my first big event this year, which went amazingly well, so I'll be doing a big one next year as well. You know, it's just, a, my, my YouTube channel's now, like, nearly 30,000 subscribers. I want to be able to wear speed Speedos on a beach, boy. I want to have speedos on, bruv. That's what I want. You know, walk down in confident in speedos. That takes some confidence, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Uh, episode's over. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, I'm, I'm really, really thankful for you guys watching this. I hope you're getting value from it. Let me know in the comments if you are, or if I'm wasting my time. Tell me the fuck off. I hope you're learning a lot and getting some nuggets, watching me build my business, watching my average day to day. Look, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, all right? I'll bring in your motivational videos every single week. If you haven't watched my motivational videos, Videos. They're really good for you in the mornings when you're in the gym, on your way to work, whatever, just to get you motivated in the day. Leave me a comment to let me know if any, any other content that you want. Make sure you hit the like button and all that stuff. I'll see you next time.